ladies and gentlemen to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at printing text to the hood, uh, importing a font, and how we'll put all that together to create what I'm about to show you now. So if I hop into the viewport here, and move over towards this cube, you'll see when I get close to it, it says press E to destroy, and when I move away, the text disappears from the screen. And if I press E when I'm next to it, it removes it from the game. So, without further ado, let's jump in and take a look at how we achieve this. So this is the cube blueprint. I'll be deleting this and starting from fresh. Uh, and we're also going to be working with importing a font and inside the hood. So let's go ahead and get rid of this and construct this from the start. In fact, we'll even go so far as to destroy this and construct the, the blueprint from the very beginning with no static mesh, no nothing. We'll also remove the font and we'll open up the hood inside blueprints, first person hood. And we'll be removing this too. Compiling everything to make sure we're not broken anything in the process. And let's begin. So let's take this static mesh here, this cube, and we're going to turn this into the cube that we can destroy. So we're going to make this into a blueprint by clicking over here. And we're going to be naming this uh, E to destroy BP. And creating a blueprint from it. Delete that one. That was the one I was working with before. So let's go inside and take a look. So we're going to add a component. I want to scroll on down until we can find collision, box collision, and then scale this box up maybe five times. A little bit bigger than that. Let's go for 10. So whenever we enter, the in enter that box there, that's what we're going to be able to work with inside and have our text display. If you jump out into the actual game there, you can see just how big the box is, so you can tweak that. If you want it a bit smaller, a bit more accurate of a, a box, or if you want it larger, then you can go ahead and do that. So, that's all we're going to add in the viewport. Head on over to the event graph, and we're going to work with a, a begin overlap. So, we'll call begin overlap, or event actor begin overlap, and we'll also have an end overlap. Event actor, end overlap. Now, what we want to do from these is we're actually just going to jump out of this for a minute, leave those two here, because we need to construct something within the first person hood first of all. So when you join the hood, if you've got the first person template open, you'll have this here, this texture that draws the, uh, you have the first person crosshair being drawn to the screen. And we're going to go on down here, away from that, and we're going to make our own custom event. So we're going to custom event, and we're going to call this E to destroy. Or actually rather, draw text to screen. I need to add two inputs to this. We need a boolean with the name draw. You can, this can, these can actually be named anything you like but for me I'm going to call them draw. And we also need a string. And we're going to name this one text. Compile it. And now let's take a look at what we actually want to do with these. Out of the exec execution we're going to call a branch and link draw up to the condition. And out of the branch we want a gate. However, from the gate, the true needs to go into open, the false needs to go into close, and enter will be called by event receive draw hood. Uh, actually, I've done that wrong, sorry. There needs to be a sequence up here so that it can do both of them. So we'll have a sequence there. So it pin zero goes off to draw the crosshair, oh, and pin one comes down to enter. Now, what we need to do is make sure this is start closed and then off execution of the exit we're going to call a draw text. Now be sure to hit the one that's in the hood not painting so draw text here and the text there is going to be linked up to the text that we input at the other end of this custom event. The text color is going to be white although you can have this any color you want. In fact let's go for a green we'll do a green and the screen XY well, this is the dead center of the screen, so we'll, we'll put it in the dead center for now. So X off there and Y from there. Scale of 1, that's fine. And I believe that's everything we need to do inside here for now. Actually, there is one thing I'd like to mention. A font. We're going to go over really quickly how to add a custom font to Unreal Engine. The font that's currently in the game isn't very desirable, and as such, we'll go ahead and get one. So I've got Def Font open here. It's a free font website. I basically, let's type in a font. Let's go for something... Uh, formal. Let's see what formal fonts we've got. Well, that didn't really bring up much. Uh, let's just go for this one. Download this. And you should have a TTF format file. It's a true type font file. 
and you're going to move this out of the zip into somewhere you'll remember. So I'm going to put mine in my Unreal Projects folder. Jump back into the Unreal Engine, Import, find the font you got, so the Shark Formal Fun Funniness, whatever that is. Open that, and here's the font. Just want to right click on it and hit save, so we get rid of that little star, so that's now properly within the engine. And we're going to move them back over to our hood, font, select an asset, and select our new font. Compile again. And then we're going to jump back on over to the cube blueprint. So now we need to call these things. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to add a new variable. This variable is going to be a string. And this is going to be text. With a capital T, not a lowercase t. Doesn't matter though, it's just a name. Uh, and we're going to set this twice. We'll call it out twice on both the begin overlap and the end overlap. And when we begin overlap, we'd like it to say E to destroy. And we're going to leave this one blank. So out of there, they're going to hook up to a cast to first person hood, which was the name of the hood up here. And we're going to right click over here and get the player controller. And off this pin, we're going to get the hood. And return value, we're going to hook up to our object here. Both of these executions are going to go into the same cast there. And out of here, we're going to call our draw text screen, which was the function we created within the hood. Draw is going to be text checked here, and our text, we're going to get the text here, and that's what we're going to draw. So, let's have a look and see whether this works first of all. I'm hoping it does. Let's move forwards. And when we're in the screen, you can see it there, it's very small. However, it says E to destroy, starting at the center of the screen. And if we move out, it disappears. When we move back in, it reappears. So that's a little small for my liking. So I'm going to go ahead and scale that up, let's say, to scale of 3. Compile again. Oopsie daisies. Jump back over here. Play from my current location. Oops. And give it another shot. That's a bit bigger. That's better. The font that we picked isn't exactly great, but you can see that it's printing to the screen perfectly fine. So that's the... Uh, official end of the tutorial there, I've shown you how to draw the text of the screen through the hood on an overlap and basically this can be applied to anything so let's say you had some items that were actually F to um, F to interact with in here you would simply change this text to F so how does this, I'm quickly going to a bit of a bonus here as to how this actually helps us destroy an object so it says E to destroy but if we press E on it at the minute it will do nothing so what we're actually going to do is on the begin overlap we're going to call uh, enable input and on end we're going to disable it and the player controller for the enable input is the same player controller that we called here so we can just branch that one over there just like that and then what we're going to have is the letter E so key inputs keys I don't quite like in Unreal Engine 4.7 if you right click and press E it doesn't actually find the letter E as it did in the previous Unreal Engine version uh, so you kind of need to type in key and then go find the letter that you want. So for me, it's going to be E. So when E is pressed, we're going to destroy the actor. Destroy actor. So when E is pressed, and E can only be pressed when we're inside the box, which will also show the thing on the screen, then we're going to destroy the actor. So let's go and have a look at this in practice. Again, I'm getting a bit confused there. There's just a fair few changes I'm not quite used to. Uh, so I'm going to move inside, it says press E to destroy, I'm going to hit the E key, and it will remove the actor from the world, like so. So that's the end of this tutorial. Uh, I will be doing a tutorial covering uh, some more physics stuff, maybe a part 2 to my destructible mesh. I know I made the part 1, I never got around to finishing part 2. Uh, if you've got any questions about this, any suggestions, any comments, drop them in the comment section below. Don't forget to check out my other tutorials, uh, I tried to put out new videos as often as I possibly can. I've got some free time now, so I've got some free some videos coming up. Uh, subscribe if you'd like to follow the, my personal development of my game Sneak. Uh, it's a stealth puzzle game. Uh, yep, we'll, we'll, we'll see how that turns out. Uh, other than that, guys, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.